Lolo converted from a prying gaming sub to a tier one sub. Thank you, Lolo. How's everyone doing today? The activity fee didn't show that for some reason. That's interesting. Can't trust it for nothing. Who knows what it is, but yes, let us. So yeah, yesterday I did a somewhat late night stream. I got home at like nine in the evening and I decided I felt like doing this. So I did this and we got into the depths. I don't remember where we found the depths key. I think it was in the painted world. Um, and we got into the depths and the depths had both the Beta Chaos and Seath's Lord Souls. So, that was interesting. And I think we also found down the depths the key to drain New Londo. Maybe. Yeah, it breaks the seal on the floodgates of New Londo. So we can finally do that. Isn't that exciting? Also, I found the best armor. Look at this, it's great. Still mid roll, so that's fine. I feel like I do better dodging with mid rolls than light rolls anyway. Yeah, I also found the good hat. I think this was also in the depths? I don't remember. There was a lot going on last night. Let us train. So, I need a train sink curse. Which I have five of still, that's good. And if I remember right, I opened up a shortcut here. There's a ladder you could kick down that I never knew the purpose of before. Because I always do all of this in one go, and so it's kind of moot. But apparently, that ladder lets you uh, skip a bit of unpleasantness in this area for a while. Well, I mean, I assume I would have gone in far into the stream because I don't play this outside the stream. <laughs> yes, there it is. Oh, I think it was up here. Yeah, it's right here. If I drop down onto this, there's a ladder that you can kick down here. Very nice. I have a lot more health than last time I was here, so hopefully that means things will not go as they sometimes do. I don't... let's see, where was the way to that guy, actually? Is it out here? Yeah. Just run from all the ghosts. Oh, gosh. <laughs> There's so many. I didn't know they were uh, able to be hit by fireballs actually, but that's good to know. Anyway, the key, the seal is unlocked. It's time to watch the water flow. And somehow all the drakes that are out here don't get uh, washed away. They just, you know, remain. We already had our evening storm today. It happened about two hours ago, surprisingly. 
So, but there might be another evening storm coming. Who knows? We had the morning storm, but what about the evening storm? Okay, I think at this point I'm safe to switch back to my stupid weapon. Cause I only use the falchion when I need to attack fast. discovered things. Okay, someone's coming. Come on. Come on. I've already, I, uh, the first item I got was your hand, you jerk. I don't need any of your shenanigans. Ow. Ow. He's winning. He's winning. zombie ghosts leave this place, indeed. <laughs> but yeah, the drakes don't care about all that water that flowed past them. I don't know too well where all the items are around here. So that's something I'm going to have to... That's why I'm kind of checking every nook and cranny because I don't usually very thoroughly explore this place. In fact, a lot of times I fight the four kings before I even get the Lord Vessel. Black Knight Sword. Okay. Sometimes it goes better than other times, though, when I do that. Depends on what weapon I have. If I found, like, the Black Knight Greatsword, it goes great. If I haven't, it doesn't go so great. At <laughs> this point, though, I've done so much with this weapon. Yeah. I could find, but a little too late. Ah yes, the skull zone. Oh, I gotta slow down. Oh no! I'm being double teamed. Oh gosh. How long does the goop on my legs last? Oh, it lowers my healing too. No, not my humanity. I've got five of those. I can't believe he stole my humanity. Well, at least those guys stay dead forever. Oh, hello. Oh. Does that count as sewage if it was underwater? Just underwater, chilling out. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count as sewage? <laughs> I 
So I guess technically I'm ready to fight Gwyn now. the Moonlight Butterfly. Oh, I forgot that guy exists. I missed. trousers. So I don't really have any reason to fight the four kings now then, huh? <laughs> That's gonna be... I'm gonna fight them anyway because otherwise this will be extremely short if I just go to Gwyn right now. Oh, I have purging stones. Can't believe it. Break curse, finally, after all these years. There's ghosts around here or something. Where are you? Oh gosh. I've been gooped. He's still alive. I thought there were ghosts in here usually. Hmm. Crunchy. Helm of Thorns. So, with the four kings, there are actually five kings. So my question is, if you double enemies, are there ten kings? Does that mean there are ten kings? Alright, uh, let's... Let's go with Notorious. I mean, I don't have them doubled, thankfully, but... just I'm just thinking out loud. Hmm, but if I'm ready to, to... So I don't even have to go to the DLC then. That's surprising. I was actually expecting to have to go there. for the light and the darkness of the abyss. Oh, that was rude. I can't believe it. I didn't get a chance to attack. They did a lot of damage too. Yeah, there's definitely something wild with the damage numbers. Because that was a lot of damage. Butterflies 
not worth anything. Quinn's just gonna one shot me with how much damage everything does for some reason. <laughs> if the enemies are randomized, they're all the easy to it's randomized too. That'd be kinda funny. I don't remember if he can summon help down here. Uh like an NPC helper. Might be something all. Eh, we'll see. Interesting backs. There we go. What do you got? More to clean tie night. I guess I could upgrade this axe some more. there are any items down here besides what the black knights drop Maybe it'll be another, uh, another Firekeeper Soul, or it'll be nothing. Yeah, I found, um, the last, uh, Lord Soul, uh, under the water of New Londo. It was just down there. So who wants to bet I, oops, who wants to bet I get my butt kicked by, uh, I don't, I've never used this parry dagger. Does it have different timing for the, um, parry? Or is it just a longer window? 
because I remember Screffo saying something about it being a longer window, but I don't know if that also means that the window starts at a different time. But let's find out. Did not succeed. like to get away from you for just a moment. Just one moment, please. No, but he is destroying me. And I'm not, like, allowed to heal at all. <laughs> just straight up not allowed to heal. Oh yeah, I don't know the timing on that uh, parry at all, unfortunately. Not with this weapon, this thing anyway. I've done it before with the with a shield, but I've never done it with this dagger. I don't know how this dagger works. Oh crap, I don't have any souls. That's gonna make it hard to uh, upgrade this weapon again. <laughs> That's a problem. I do have what I need, but I need 2,000 souls. And I used up all my soul items like a fool. Yeah, he didn't one-shot me, that is true. I like how little, how few souls the Moonlight Butterfly gives though, it's like 1200. This guy has the weird backstab angle for some reason. Like his back isn't actually his back half the time. Well, I have enough souls to upgrade this weapon now. I'm very confused about what just happened. He was facing away from me, but he sent me flying into the sky anyway. Yeah, that was kind of weird. away just so I can see slightly better.
I mean, they did fix the game. They made different other uh, games that were slightly less bad, maybe. I haven't played much Dark Souls 3, but from what I've played, it is... It's more responsive in some ways, but it's less responsive in other ways. Like, it's both an upgrade and a downgrade at the same time, which is kind of wild. Let's go upgrade this axe. I think I've seen that, but um, you can feel free to link it. He should do a randomizer and be stuck with this weapon as the only weapon worth using the entire playthrough. <laughs> oh, you never beat the first one. I consider Bloodborne a lot harder than this game, so if you can beat Bloodborne, you should be fine. So much twinkling tight. Let's upgrade those two. Why not? Maybe I'll find it's easier to use. Let's find out, actually. Definitely swings kind of slow, but looks like it has the same range. So I guess let's see if it's better because it's faster kind of thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, because for one thing, the bosses don't have a million health, so they aren't endurance races. Like that, that's my main complaint with Bloodborne, it's just like, Everything takes, all the bosses just take so long to kill. And once you start messing up, it's just over. Which is the same thing with this one, except this one, the boss doesn't take super long to kill. It's like, once you get it, you get it, you know. Now let's see how this sword does. That's a strong attack. Is the Xanthus helmet like extremely high, <laughs> high uh, attack somehow, or high defense somehow? Because it seems like everything's doing a lot more damage to me than it should be at this particular moment. Like when I was wearing the Xanthus crown, I was not taking quite this much damage. your back. They like turn so weird when they attack. There we go. 
I, if there was one, I didn't see it, and I wouldn't have purposely checked it because I don't hate myself. <laughs> I will have to check again after this is done. You can't tell that I have the parry dagger out, but I definitely do. It's it's in there somewhere. <laughs> it, it's you can just see a pooked right there. <laughs> God, this is the best armor. <laughs> it's so stupid in every way. It's like, it takes the stamina away from my attempt to parry, but it doesn't actually, like, do it. It's interesting. Yeah, you're just not allowed to heal on this guy. Like, once he's, once he's hit you once, it's just, you have to just deal with having that much health. We don't get that. I wonder if. I guess I shouldn't even bother trying that first parry because it seems like it's just going to hurt me more than help. doesn't seem to do much different damage between one-handed and two-handed, which is interesting. There we go. Like, this claims to have a crap ton of defense and poise. Let's see if it's true. Probably get heavier legs, too, at this point. Have those legs. Oh, I can still mid-roll, okay. Oh, this is actually worse defense, just more poise. Wait, does that mean that Smo's legs would be better? Oh, yeah, they would be actually, okay. Let's do it. your timing that I shouldn't have tried to deal with. Uh, fire resist. Good question. Let me see what my fire resist is like right now. Uh, that one's okay on fire. Okay, that's a lot of fire resist. That's nothing. That's decent. Let's see what we can upgrade this to. Stone goblet. Okay, that makes me heavy roll though. Okay, now I'm mid rolling again. So, what are we looking at with fire defense? 254? Doesn't seem that bad.
trying to get better at parrying also. That's the thing too, is like, I feel like the numbers on the armor is lying. I don't feel like that's the true values. Because some stuff is just doing a lot of damage while I'm wearing, like, Havel's armor. What's up with that attack, but that parry just doesn't happen for some reason. Like, when I've seen Scruffo, like, fight this guy, he just parries non-stop. Like, that's all he does, is just parry this guy, and I don't know how he does it. Because I have not had a single parry off on this idiot. The only parry I've ever done on Gwyn was the very first time I fought him. I parried his first attack. And I have never parried him since in my entire life. And I don't know how I pulled it off the very first time. But it's never happened again. And normally I just can beat his face in as not... Uh, can I ask? Well, I don't know where Scruffo is, so I can't ask him for help. Because he's not here. He's not in chat, so who knows where he is. No, I don't know where he is. You could find out. You have the power. Can I summon anyone for this guy? I think I can. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's Scruffo dressed up as a queen. I think there is someone you can summon here, and I don't remember who it is. But they might not show up. Because I've had summons just not show up plenty of times, so... there, buddy. Wow, he didn't care about any of that parrying. Parrying is definitely weird in this game. Very inconsistent. And if it decides to work. Is that not a backstab? There we go. I don't think the Black Knights actually know where their butts are, because it seems like it's different every time. How did, so he, that hits behind him, I guess, is what I'm learning here. That attack where he stabs into the sky hits behind him. That's what I found out just now. And if I had less poise, I would have flown into the sky like happened before.
try this again. Can I parry this time? No. Yeah, that's... Not only does it just not parry, but it also just removes all of my... my stamina whenever I try. So it's like, just don't try. That is the answer. I should stop trying to parry him. I said that before, but I thought maybe this time it would work. But no, it doesn't. A poor place. Oh, I just can't use this weapon. If I don't want to do the big rolls. I guess I'm stuck with the Black Knight Sword too. Plus, do we think the... In let's see, so this does... 264 plus 126. This does... Would he be weak to magic damage? Probably not. Hey, pull her, please. Can parry that. I guess part of the problem with parrying too is you have to really know the enemy's animations really well, and I don't. It's like Gwen would be, I guess Gwen's easy to parry if you have the opportunity to practice on him for a while without him killing you in two hits. Oh, there you are, Srafa. I have been extremely unable to parry Gwen. I've tried many times, and it just isn't happening. I can't get a single one off. Also, uh, the missing Lord Soul was under the new underwater. It was just on the ground somewhere, underwater. Same, but you parry him all the time. Like I've watched, I watched you parry him like twenty times in a row and just destroy him. you even if you dodge, jeez. Can I backstab him? No. What am I supposed to do with this guy? Like his range is so long that you can't dodge out of any of it. So I actually, I just, I have no idea how to fight this guy. I thought there was an NPC you could summon here, but apparently there's not.
What is the timing for parrying him, Trepo? Like, I guess maybe I just don't understand how parrying works, since I'd never do it. Okay. Yeah, because he like hits me on the same frame I parry on the first attack and it just makes me lose all my stamina instead for some reason. I can I can say that for sure. Whoa. What a jump. I did it really early that time and had no difference. It didn't even like show me do the animation it looked like. Yeah, he just takes away all my stamina if I try to parry him, and that's a that's all that happens as a result of parrying him. It's just a giant stamina loss. Every time. And I don't understand why that's happening. Because parry doesn't normally take away all your stamina. Like, it should just take up that much, not my entire bar. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't have a way to turtle him. I never found anything that would let me do that. Like, I'm wearing the best stuff I have right now. This is it. This is what I have. This is all there is. Like, I need him- I need to just figure out whatever his magical parry time is. I need to figure out why I lose all stamina when I try to parry him instead of parrying him. Because that's that's part of the problem too, is like, I lose all my stamina so now I can't dodge away from him anymore. So he has some kind of like special effect on him that takes away your stamina, I guess. I have Havel's shield, um, but I don't have a weapon that can attack through the shield. Not that it would do damage anyway. So what you're saying, I should use Havel's shield and just block him and hope it actually reduces the damage enough? And that I would have the stamina to keep do it blocking him through his 8 attacks per combo? Because I definitely won't have the stamina to block all of his attacks. I can upgrade my uh, sword again, though, if I wanted to. Which I might do if I fail this next run, just to get that slightly more damage. Not that it seems to make a difference.
yeah. Like, I don't know. I, yeah, I just, I'm not ever going to figure out that timing, I don't think. That's just bizarre. He's so fast. And look how much damage he does. Is he backstabable? No. What? Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, damn it. I can never tell when he's doing a grab. He, oh, he missed, and that just fucked me over entirely because of that? I see. Let's get it to plus four after I kill this guy. It's to cost two thousand each upgrade. No, that just didn't do anything. Wonder if humanities would be faster to use than healing, but then. That's like limited, so I don't know. I guess I could kill um, Quaylog and see what she's, or not Quaylog, but the lady, the pale lady, and see if she's got anything interesting on her. Oh, I can only upgrade it once, dang. Oi! What are you up to? Oi! Yeah, I never found the uh, lava walking ring. So who knows where that's hanging out. Sunlight Talisman, alright. I can't hit them, they're too low to the ground. There we go. A, a buckler, okay. Sure. Uh, do I have Iron Skin Pyromancy? It does not look like I have Iron Skin Pyromancy. Yeah, but 
he won't teach me. What do you got on you? Nothing. Goodbye. Do stay safe. Damn, you've lost it. Priscilla's deck. I fail to see your design, but if you seven I'm too old. Oh, he didn't drop anything. What he said. Goodbye. Come back. You can test my part. Oh. Yeah, not anything either. I'm just killing everyone now. I guess. I guess that's where we are at. Where we're at. Just killing people to see what they've got. He's got like slaps and stuff, that's wild. Oh wait, did I buy ten? Oh he oh I was only oh he only had the one, okay. Nothing appeals to curses. What's wrong with you? Well, curses. How in the I don't know. It's all he's dead now. Twin humanities. How much is Soul of Hero worth otherwise though? That's the thing is I don't know the values of those things, so it doesn't help me at all. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. Like 10,000 souls wouldn't have gotten me anywhere. Uh, assuming he had more than one to sell. Uh, is there a way to tell if there's a limit? Because I've never been able to. It seems like just stuff will vanish sometimes, and that's just that. Like, almost every item I've bought from a shopkeeper has been a one time item so far.
Let's see. So I guess I'm doing it too late. That still didn't work. Oh, God. I can never tell when he's doing the grab. Somehow he missed the grab, which I didn't know was a grab once again. There we go. If only drinking was faster. That time I figured out what the grab looks like. He has fallen to this. <laughs> Black. <laughs> what a good, uh, what a good reward. All right. Well, I'm not lighting your stupid fire. I'm out of here. Seventy thousand souls. Time for all the stupid. Wow, that just looks so. Oh god, terrifying! Terrifying. Oh, Cass and Frampton were, weren't interested in talking to me earlier. Frampton's like, "Oh, you're stupid," and left. <laughs> you know, he has no arms. Jeez. <laughs> hey, look, I'm back. I'm uh, just because I'm curious. I'm going to see what it is that uh, Asylum Demon has. Real quick, just because I'm, I just want to know what he had. If he had like my favorite weapon or something, I'm going to be very unhappy. He better not have a buckler. All right, I'm not allowed to level up yet. Okay. Fine, I won't. comes from above. Okay, what do you got for me? He had a divine blessing. That's what he had. <laughs> well then.